So maybe you've got an empty lot in the inner city and you'd like to use it to make some extra money while also providing affordable housing for the community. In this video, I'm going to show you how to become a slumlord. First, you're going to need to build your slums. And to build your slums, you're going to need some materials. Remember, your tenants are very poor. You need to keep the material costs down so that your tenants can afford rent. There are three basic materials that make up a proper slum. Cheap corrugated metal, wood posts, and tarps. Lots and lots of tarps. Let's start with the metal. Here's a few photos of various sheets of metals I had laying around the slum that I live in. Once you have your photos, import them as planes and cut out everything you don't need. Now add a bit of geometry and depth. Next, the wood. These are great because they're just square posts. Last is the tarp. Photograph several of them and bring them in. Now it's time to assemble. This is where your creativity comes in. You want to keep the homes small and simple. Remember, your tenants aren't going to be able to afford their rent if you make things too fancy. Start with a single structure. I like to start with the roof. Be sure to use lots of different colors so it looks like you just grabbed them from all kinds of different places. Next, go around the perimeter with some walls. Now cut out holes for the windows and doors and frame them with the boards you made. We're not actually going to be installing windows and doors though. Instead, we're just going to cover them with a blue tarp and call it Move-In Ready. And now make a few more of these, bigger, smaller, and different shapes. And now comes the fun part, stacking. Remember, don't go too high or your structure could collapse and kill all of your tenants. That would mean you would have no one to collect rent from, which could leave you bankrupt and living in a slum yourself. You don't want that. Once you have a nice large structure, it should be ready for your tenants to move in. Be sure to add a bunch of junk so that they know it's for them. Now your tenants are going to be complaining a lot, and each month they will be coming up with new excuses for why they can't pay their rent. When this happens, you need to show them who's boss. Being a slumlord is all about mind games. A good tactic is to threaten to burn the whole place down if they don't pay up. Act like they mean nothing to you at all, and always insist that you are doing them a huge favor by providing them with an affordable place to live. There are a few common phrases you need to get in the habit of saying, such as, where is my money, and you better have my money by the end of the week, or I'm going to take one of your kids. You want to make a reputation for yourself. You want to be feared, but fair at the same time. An eye for an eye type stuff. Once you are finished with your slum, you can go ahead and list it on apartments.com. With time, your tenants will come to respect you as you quickly become the world's most powerful slumlord.